Hey guys, it's Remy the Math Person, and today I'll be going over question 60 on SI exam P, so pause the video quick and try to problem yourself. Okay, as you are attempted, let's just dive right in. So this one's actually not a very hard one because this basically they give you the average and they give you the variance. They give you the variance is 260, and they're saying assume that everything is more, ex more expensive by 20%. So that means everything costs 120 percent more right or it's equal to 1.2 percent because think about it it's kind of the same because like taxes where i live are seven percent for sales so if my good costs one dollar and i have a seven percent tax i can just do 1.07 and get that this is equal to one oh one dollars and seven cents it's the same idea here if something is more expensive by 20 percent in if we just do times 20%, that's just gonna give you the change. So you can always add that in, but the easier, easiest thing to do is just multiply by 1.2. So they're saying, what is the if the variance right now is equal to 260, what would it be if it's 1.2 for variance? We have to remember to square it though, because think of it like this, like everything in this world is in terms of standard deviation and standard deviation is a square root of variance, right? So if it's more expensive, it's expensive by 1.2% in standard deviation terms. That means in the variance world, it's expensive, it's 1.2 square times more expensive in the variance world. And that's because the world we live in, we focus on standard deviations. So we want to make sure that these kind of units are kind of the same. And that's one of the reasons why we just square these. All right, so we just have to do 1.2 square times 260, which is equal to 374, which is your answer Again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!